welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are having an absolutely amazing day today. If you're new here, hi, I'm Liz, aka My Pastel Past, and I'm back with a brand new video for you all. Today, I am so excited to be bringing you all this video. We finally get to tour this amazing Savannah Island by Gabriel. This is the island of Patea, and it is absolutely stunning. First off, we're going to take a look at the map because there are a few things that I find absolutely incredible. First is the tent, the museum tent, and the resident services. They have not been upgraded yet, and I think that is so cool. I haven't seen this on an island yet, um, to see a finished island with resident services still in a tent. So I'm super excited to see it. We have Gabriel and Noel as residents, and then for villagers, we only have two. We have Pashmina and Tybalt. How cool is this? I think this is absolutely incredible. If you all want to visit this island, the dream address is right here on the screen, as well as I will be listing Gabriel's Instagram and YouTube down in the description below. So be sure to check them out and show them some love and support because this island is absolutely stunning. Now, with that being said, we're gonna hop right into it. And right as we get off our airplane, there is some gifts up front. So we are going to pick those up real quick and get on our Explorer shirt. Our Explorer shorts, we have a ladder and we have an Explorer's hat. Look at this, look how cute we are. And also look at this view right off from the island entrance. It's stunning. I love the tire tracks behind the car. I think that is an absolutely amazing touch. And then I love seeing these trees. I can't remember what they're called, but they're absolutely amazing. Um, they came with the 2.0 item. Same with these wheat fields. And together on this island, they are incredible. If we follow this way up, we come to a little fork in the road. Um, followed by a river. I am going to walk in the river just a little bit to help myself get around, but I really like how they have this winding waterway throughout the, the island, especially with the gyroid fragment inside of it. I think it's so cute. But if we head this way, we get to see a broken down car in the middle of the water. But we're going to make our way first to resident services. So I'm going to cut through here a little bit because this is the most jaw dropping thing I have ever seen made in Animal Crossing. Look at this, everyone. Take it in. It's gorgeous. I wish I could just like boop Luna out of the way or I think their name is Luna. Um, because look at this resin services as a tent with using the termite mounds to make this mountain hell like structure is so incredible to me. It is so well done, so well put together, and I absolutely love it. I think it looks fantastic. Um, from resident services, we can get to a few areas. We're going to head to the right first, where we're going to see a little turtle and a cricket and some more broken down cars. Oh my goodness, the car has a horn. I did not know that was a thing. I guess I got to add that to my list then. But as we go this way, we can see this cute little seating area. Uh, campfire with a path leading up to our very first house. This is Pashmina's house, I believe. Let's go see if I'm right. Yes! So this is Pashmina's house. They also have a little bit of a mountain range behind it. I love how they have the termite mounds coming around. It almost looks like this hill is wrapping around the house. And I think that is so cool, especially with the little fire that we have here going on. It's cozy and I'm loving it. We also have a little bit of a picture book and the cute little chairs for more seating. And then if we head back this way, there is a bridge heading down to the bottom area of the island. It's so cool though that we have a bridge going over the water, even though I'm being a bad bean and walking in the water anyway. But if we head down here, we get to the cutest picnic ever. 
Do you do you all see this? Can you see this? Because look at how adorable this is. I could sit here all day because it's just too cute. The um the food that we have, the radio, the newspaper with the wheat fields all around it, it's adorable. And the further down we go, we get some um newspapers here and this item here which I have not seen on an island yet. Um, maybe I'm just not looking for them, but this is the first time I've ever seen anyone use the fire, leaf fire pit ever on an island. But the marshmallows, it's just, it's so cute. I'm in love with it. Like, I cannot stop gushing over how stunning this island is. Like, are we even playing the same game? Is this Animal Crossing or have I been teleported to the savanna? Because I feel like I've been teleported into the savanna but it's amazing. Running down this way, we get to our next villager home. This is Tybalt's home, if I remember correctly. I think that was the other villager that they had. And from this sign, this looks like it's a little bit of a campsite. So we've got some Coca-Cola bottles here and a little bowl of soup, which I love. And then leading up, we have another broken down car. And is this, am I right? Tybalt's house! There we go. We found it. I do think that this is a campsite. I can see the campsite sign, which I love. And then we have more seating over here, which is so cool, and using the duck. And even the grass partition standee is absolutely incredible. I haven't seen that item either used on an island yet, so I love that it's here. Going back from resident services onto the left side of the island. I can sneak my way through here to get to a path. And before we head up, we are going to go down first. We are going to follow this path and the river down and around. I love how this river just like kind of twists and turns all over the island. I think that's a perfect touch. But as we head down this way, we get to another campsite area. And the first thing that catches my eye is this incredible taco truck look at how amazing this is and the seating area we've got food cooking it's steaming could you just imagine being out on the savannah exploring and you come to this amazing taco truck and you get to sit down and have a delicious meal because i can picture it and it sounds amazing we also have um a rover's briefcase here which i think is so cute that they used rover's brief briefcase on this island it's adorable. I don't see people using this briefcase enough, so I'm really happy that it was used here on this island. Another thing I want to point out is this tree, or I guess there's many of these trees, but these pine trees are one of my favorite items in Animal Crossing, and it is so cute. And I absolutely love how they have it surrounded by this water that I'm totally ruining the effect by running on. But you know what? That's okay. I'll stand right here next to it with the wheat and the shrubs around it i think it's absolutely incredible but we're going to run back up this way through the path and we're going to see our first resident home we have another fire pit here with a car and a very dense wheat field which i absolutely love and more mountain ranges i cannot get enough i can't get enough of them i'm absolutely in love with them seeing these mountainous hill ranges made out of the termites is just so incredible and then i totally forgot to ask permission to go inside the houses so i'm not going to do that in this video um but instead we're gonna go along this path here along the mountain ranges i want to see if there's anything down here first oh my goodness Y'all, look at this. I'm gonna turn the volume down just slightly because I know how bad waterfalls or how loud waterfalls can get. But can we just take a moment to appreciate how they have this waterfall encompassed in this hill mountain range? Because it works so well and then you have the water going around from it and it is absolutely stunning because this water goes all the way down. And if we go up here, we get to see more of this stunning mountain range. Look at that. Look at this. 
you cannot tell me that this is not gorgeous because it is gorgeous. Absolutely stunning. And instead of going down this way, we're going to head up here in between these little hilly parts and climb up here and oh my goodness, look at this, more water, the gyroids, a little land bridge. I do love myself a good land bridge, so I love seeing this. And look at this, I could already see the skyline of all of these buildings. Absolutely incredible. It looks like they're on floaties in the river. How cute is that? We're gonna go down to the left first. They've made these incredible little buildings um, out of the, I think those are the, giz no, the gazebos are the round roofed ones. I don't remember what that item is called, but the simple panels and then the storefronts. And look at how well this works. We got little seating areas in case you want to take a seat, grab a bite to eat. Absolutely amazing. Also, how this looks so well. It looks like it's in game, the custom codes on the ground. I just gotta say. This is insane. This is such a cool looking building. I feel like I'm saying the same thing over and over again, saying that it's insane, but it really is. This is blowing my mind. Look at how well put together this is. If I like ran my villager away from here, I would question whether or not I was looking at Animal Crossing. I really like how they took the campsites and flipped them around because it almost looks like windows or doors on the top floor of this building. And I think that's absolutely amazing. I also see a bridge here, so I'm going to cross it and take a look. <gasps> We've got all oh, the little springy rides. That's so cool to put this in this area of the island. I love that. You got another land bridge coming up. Oh, I see. Can I sit in here? I want to sit on the little floaty. Look at this. It's like I'm going down the river with all the gyroids. How cute is that? This is absolutely amazing. And if we sneak around here, it looks like this is its own little city town um, with its own little homes. And I love how we have the different colored storefronts and the bus stops. And I can see the curtains, um, even the tank at the back. It is absolutely amazing. They've taken so many unique items that I don't normally see together in Animal Crossing and put it to create this incredible island. And I am, I'm blown away. My jaw is on the floor. My jaw has been dropped because this is absolutely stunning to me. And then it looks from here, we can follow the lazy river down and around. Again, the waterfalls in between the termite mounds looks absolutely amazing. I cannot get over those. And it looks like we have a ladder here to go up. So we're going to do that. And look, I found one of the residents. Oh my goodness, a little bit of a swirl here. Can I get across? I wanna hop across and say hello. Oh, I'm not sure if I can get across, but you know what, that is okay. This still looks absolutely amazing. We will we'll wave from afar, hello. Look at the cute little tent. I do like that they kept the tent on this island um as like its own little campsite area i think that's adorable and then going this way we're continuing down the path um we have more termite mounts everywhere i cannot get over how well placed those items are because i think they're absolutely amazing oh my goodness i feel like i need a word counter for how many times i said oh my goodness um touring this island look at this Oh my gosh, look at how amazing this is. We have like a little sunken crater here going towards the museum, which is perfect because it's like this is where they're excavating to find all the items. We've got another little pond down here and even a seating area. This is absolutely stunning. Alrighty, y'all, this is it for this tour. I hope you all enjoyed it. Um, thank you so much to Gabriel for allowing me to tour your island. It has been absolutely amazing and jaw-dropping. You did such an amazing job. 
Um, and to everyone else, thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure that you go check out Gabriel on YouTube and Instagram and show them some love. This island has been absolutely incredible. With that being said, I will see you all in the next video. And thank you so much again for watching this one. Bye!